Hello, how are your Christmas preparations going? Do you like my tree? Hmm, is there something missing? Can you spot what's missing from the tree? Well, what do you have on top of your tree at home? Do you have a fairy or a star? Well, I prefer a star on top of my tree and I'll pop the star on top of the tree in a moment. Looking at this star makes me think of St Andrews at Christmas. It makes me think of the beautiful Moravian star on the roof of this church. Do you remember the Moravian star? Maybe you or somebody you know might have flicked the switch to turn the lights on of the Moravian star one year. All of the points pointing in all of the different directions make me think of all of the people all around the city and all around the world will be celebrating and preparing for this very special time of year. Today, I'd like to talk about a very special man. He was a cousin of Jesus and God gave him a very special message. His job was to prepare the way for Jesus. Now, would you like to hear his story? Okay, let me read it to you. John the Baptist. Even before John was a baby, his parents knew God had a special plan for him. Zacharias and Elizabeth were too old to have a baby. His birth was a miracle. He was Jesus' cousin. Zacharias and Elizabeth were good parents and taught John what it meant to obey God. They thought when he was old enough, John would also become a priest. But God had a special mission for John. Instead of working at the temple as a priest, he moved to the desert. He wore clothes made from camel's hair. He ate locusts and wild honey. He began to preach an important message. John taught people they needed to repent. Many people came to listen to him. Some people thought he was crazy. Some religious people told him off. But others believed his message and repented of their sins. They said sorry for the bad things they have done and began to obey God. John baptised them in the, in the Jordan River. It was a way to show they really meant what they said. It was like washing the bad things away. Many people repented of their sins and they were baptised by John. John was preparing the way for Jesus. John reminds me a little bit of a torch. Can you see the light from the torch on the floor? Well, the torch, or I could use a torch, to help me to find my way if I was lost. John reminds me of a torch because he helped um, people to find their way to Jesus when they had been lost before. Now, the torch is certainly nice and bright and it gets my attention. And John, in his time, would have been a very um, interesting person. He would have certainly got lots of attention, what with his wild hair and his wild clothes made from camel hair and um, his diet of locusts and wild honey. But John didn't want the attention to be on him. 
He wanted the attention to be on Jesus and he wanted people to prepare for Jesus. Just as I could use the torch for, to help me find my way if I was lost, John helped people find their way to God. Finally then, I'd like us to say a prayer. If we could bring our hands together and bow our heads. Dear Lord, thank you for John the Baptist who prepared the way for you. Thank you for the people who tell us about Jesus. Help us to prepare the way for other people to know him too. Amen. Well, thank you very much to listening to me and listening to the story of John the Baptist. I hope you have a wonderful preparation and enjoy the run up to Christmas. Merry Christmas from me. Goodbye.